everybody. Sorry about that. My hand is in the way. I have you in my cabinet in the bathroom and I'm trying to fix the camera here. Oh, sorry about that. I'm trying to get it so it won't drop. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay. I am going to do a little nighttime skincare. I've been using my Clarisonic. I'll step back so you can see me. And just have my little nightgown on and my hair is back. A little ponytail, headband. I've been using my Clarisonic Mia and I've been using that with a couple things. Um, my favorite has been the Take the Day Off by Clinique. And as you can see, I move to the bottom of it. It doesn't have a real strong scent, but when I put it on, it sort of smells like coconut. So I used the Clarisonic, cleaned my face, took all the makeup up, off that I was wearing. And now I'm going to try a new mask for me. And it's actually one of the newer ones by um, Posh, excuse me. And this is uh, Give Me Life. No, Giving Me Life. And it's a tightening and brightening mask. Let me hold it back right there. And it comes with a little plastic wrapper, so I took that off. You lift the top. And their old masks used to come in, in tubs. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Just gonna scratch it there, my brush. Used to come in tubs, and now they're putting the masks in tubes, and I really like that a lot better. I have been using my masks with the uh, a flat foundation brush. This is just a Sedona Lace 7 to 7, but you can get anything like this. And I'm going to put this on areas where I want to kind of lighten up because there's some um, dark spots on my face. And put that on there first. Hmm, it smells kind of good. It's like, um, like an herbal smell. And then I'm going to put it all over because it is for tightening and brightening. And I find that using a flat foundation brush like this helps to really put the product on. Okay, I am back. I have rinsed off my face. And what I like to do is just take one of these nice um, rags, not rags, but face towels. And I'll put water on it and I just put the it like this press it and then I just take it off that way it's harder for me for my back to um, bend over and and splash my face so I use one of these now I'm going to let this kind of dry, dry so I can show you a couple things that I've been using along with this when I purchased the full size of the evening or night cream I received a gift, another gift of purchase, and one of them is the Renergy Lift Multi-Action Eye Cream. Looks like that. And I have been using this, and I really like it. It's very thick, and I take like a cotton swab, or Q-tip, whatever you call it, and just put it right on the orbital bone and then I bring it up and I'll take a little bit more and for a little dab you really get a lot of product out more. then I just take my ring finger and I really press that in there you want to just kind of go around lightly And then I just take my finger and I go over my brows too and bring this down. Now I haven't noticed a difference in the um, dark circles, but I do notice a um, just a really soft feeling underneath my eyes. And it's tightened them up just a tiny bit. And now I've only been using this for about little less than a week, probably about uh, five, six nights, so you now you do have to give things time to work. And then I push a little bit more, push 
pushed it into my skin a little bit more. And if I go down a little bit, that's fine because this is still part of the orbital bone. Then I picked up this at um, TJ Maxx. It's a vitamin C serum and it's by Sculpt, Sculpt Face. And I had had a vitamin C oil, but I wasn't enjoying that. I felt like it was making my pores larger, like getting caught in the pores. So using my Clarisonic Mia has really helped my whole, my, oh my gosh, oh beep, my pores to um, not tighten, but to kind of really clean them out. So now I take this vitamin C serum and I shake it up. And I put just about a pump on my fingers there. And then I go right over these dark spots. Now my dark spots get very large and that's because of the photosensitivity that I have from having lupus. So these aren't actual spots from laying out in the sun for years and years. These are just from being in the sun, going from the car to the sun or standing out a little bit too long. And they're even with putting sunblock because every time I leave the house, I make sure that I put an SPF on my face. And I usually do that like right before I put my makeup on so that I don't forget it. Okay, and then I just let that dry for a little bit and then I'll just put things back. And then I will use the last bit of this night cream by Lancome. I'm going to take another Q-tip and I'm going to go around. And I take a lot, but it really soaks into my skin. And I bring it down to my decollete, down to my neck. I just was so impressed by the way this worked in just a week or under a week that I had to go out or actually order it online. I love the way it has made my face feel. And then I rub it really good into the skin. Down the neck. Don't have much of a neck, but down. And I think I still have a little bit left for tomorrow. And I'm going to be kind of frugal with Ruth it not open up my new box till I really need it. And I go up all the way. And sometimes I go back and I will take a little bit more and I will go right over the areas that I have the Mala rash, which that is even looking good. And I really just We'll go right over them. Now, of course, I will let a little bit more time than I'm showing so that in between products, but I'm saving time tonight. Like right here, it feels like a dry little patch. You can see like that's part of the rash, so just really push it. And if I feel that my skin is extra red or it's been, excuse me, I reach up for my prosacea and, oh, sorry about that. I have another box, another tube, I should say. But with my skincare stuff, I'm really frugal. frugal. I want to get that last bit out. I don't want to waste anything. I'm going right over the chin because that's really been giving me a problem. And I'll give um, maybe about five three to five minutes to be in between products. But sometimes, you know, I am in a hurry or I am just really tired and, or my legs are hurting me like they are now. Um, and I don't want to take a lot of time on my feet. But the products still get in there. So that's the little bit of the nighttime routine that I've been using. I also like to put um, like a nice lip balm. Um, I have a vitamin C stick here too that I use. It's just a regular vitamin E, excuse me, stick that I like to put over my lips. 
and around and especially like in the inner corner because I will tend to get not breakouts but it'll go like a crack really get in there and then I take it on my finger and I'll put it over my eyebrow just take that time to do that night skincare. So those hours that you sleep, the products that you use, you know, they soak into your skin. They get in there and do the work that they should be doing. Now this box, the, the Benny Fox, sorry, mispronouncing multivitamin night cream. It's this size and it's, uh, I think it's like a 1.7 ounce. Yes, 1.7 ounce or 50 gram. And uh, this was 52, so you can see why um, I'm being frugal with the sample. And it's not the most expensive, but before I let you go, I'm going to show you one more product that I've been using during the day. This is by Posh, and it's the Moisturize 911. And this is Caffeinated Tightening Face Cream. What I like to do is I like to put my SPF, so I either put the sample that I have of the Lancome Benefant Multivitamin Sunscreen SPF 30, or I take the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizer, which has a sunscreen also of 30, and I rub it in real good, let it sit. Ooh. Let it sit for a few minutes, and then right on top of it, I put this. And I'll just put a little out to show you the consistency. It's very thick, as you can see. Doesn't doesn't drip, but it's very nice. Um, it tightens my skin. Ugh, it smells really nice. And on the back of it, it says um, ultra hydrating, which I do agree. Uh, it's really nice on the hands too. It has natural essential oils, gentle 100% vegan blend, and no added color or fragrance. Uh, I'm trying to read to see what the... There's glycerin and a number of other ingredients, and glycerin is really good at um, moisturizing your skin. So that, those are some of the skincare items, and back to my Mia too. And I'm finding out that I'm really liking the way my skin is looking lately. Sorry about the length of this video, but uh, just wanted to show you. And I hope that you're having a great uh, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. And take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.